All right, folks. So we're coming up to the uh, four-year anniversary of the uh, very first uh, COVID lockdown back in uh, Wuhan of China. And uh, I just want to uh, bring up uh, something that's uh, very interesting. Do you guys know uh, what is a gain of functions uh, research? The definition of a gain of function research is a medical research that uh, genetically alters an organism in a way that uh, it may enhance the biological functions of gene products. This may include an altered uh, pathogenesis, transmissibility, or the host range. And I can only go so far on this topic, only as far as the YouTube community guidelines allows me to. So I want you to uh, think of this on your own. So to put it in simpler terms, the goal of the gain of function research is to beef up the virus with steroids in order to increase its potency or fatality level and the transmissibility. This includes transmission from the virus itself to a host human body. The Japanese, uh, they performed very similar experiments on the Chinese civilians during the infamous Unit 731 in Harbin, China during the uh, Second Sino-Japanese War. This is one of the worst uh, war crimes against humanity. And I will be visiting the 731 Museum, hopefully uh, this uh, upcoming winter, and for full details on the uh, history and the backstory of uh, Unit 731. So. Remember, the U.S. government actually pardoned the leading Japanese scientist. His name is Shiro Ishii for his all of his war crimes. And the reason why the U.S. did this was to exchange for medical records from the Chinese civilians who were uh, experimented and tortured on. The U.S. actually tried to cover up the Unit 731 incident for decades. So why am I bringing up a gain of function research? Okay, so. So we have to go back to the Barack Obama and the Joe Biden administration. This happened uh, back on May 27th, 2014, okay? So Anthony Fauci, he approved a grant of 666,442 US dollars to fund a gang of function research by the NIH to uh, EcoHealth in the Wuhan Institute of Virology back in 2014. This is where the first COVID cases were reported back in uh, November and December of 2019. And the city would go into a draconian lockdown on January 23rd, 2020. And uh, listen to this. The name of the virus being researched in this Wuhan lab was called the bat coronavirus. And this research, which was founded by the NIH in Wuhan, China, this went on for over five years until the fall of 2019. The reason why the research uh, took place in China was because this research was put on a moratorium by the U.S. government due to its uh, dangerous transmissibility, possibly from uh, host uh, to humans. So the CDC actually banned this practice. However, from uh, 2014 to 2019, EcoHealth received a total funding of for 3.7 million U.S. dollars from the NIH approved personally by Anthony Fauci until the project ended during the uh, Wuhan COVID lockdown. And uh, shortly after the research began in 2015, Dr. Ralph Barrick, he's the leading U.S. scientist on uh, gain of function research, along with the Chinese head of the uh, Wuhan Institute of Virology, Shi Zhengli. They co-published a research paper in 2015 called a SARS-like cluster of circulating bat coronaviruses showing potential for human emergence. Yes, that is the actual title of the research paper published back in 2015. Uh, the study specifically states that the potential to prepare for and mitigate future outbreaks must be weighted against the risk of creating a more dangerous pathogen. In an unlikely but conceivable turn of events in the future, what if that scientist becomes infected with the virus, which leads to an outbreak and ultimately triggers a pandemic? Now let's fast forward to 2018. Dr. Peter Dajic of EcoHealth, he applied for a 14 million US dollar grant from DARPA. DARPA means Defense Advanced Research Project Agency in order to partner with the Wuhan Institute of Virology to inject this bat coronavirus into a woman's cleavages. This is all 100% real. And however, DARPA rejected this project, citing extreme risks. However, Anthony Fauci overturned this rejection. Now, Anthony Fauci has uh, appeared in front of Congress many times, and uh, he was questioned uh, about uh, the NIH and their involvement in the gain of function research. That the NIH has not ever and does not now fund gain of function research in the Wuhan Institute. Anthony Fauci has repeatedly lied under oath 
in Congress about the NIH and their funding of gain of function of research in Wuhan. Yes, Anthony Fauci did approve 3.7 million US dollars in order to fund the gain of function research for bat coronavirus. At this point, uh, just call him uh, Comrade Fauci. You might think that, uh, wait, this is all too crazy to be true, right? There's uh, no way this is happening in the real world. Viruses escaping labs is actually uh, quite common. 